In this lesson, you will learn about absolute value. And the defin definition of absolute value is simply it's the distance from zero on a number line. Okay? So these straight up and down lines are the symbol for absolute value. So this, this problem says, what is the absolute value of three? So to do that, I'm simply going to draw a quick number line. Here's zero. Three is right here on the number line. So how many spaces from zero is three? Well, here's one, two, three. It's three jumps or three spaces from zero. So the absolute value of three is three. It's really pretty simple. <laughs> the absolute value of a negative number, it's only tricky in that it's not negative, okay? If we plot negative five, one, two, three, four, five, there's negative five. How many spaces from zero is this? One, two, three, four, five. It's five spaces. We're not talking a direction or a temperature or anything. It's just a spaces and a space actually can't be negative. So it's five jumps from zero. So the absolute value of negative five is five. And an absolute value is always a positive number. No matter if, if the problem itself is negative, the answer is always positive. So the absolute value of positive five would be one, two, three, four, five. It is also one, two, three, four, five spaces from zero. So it is also five. So the absolute value is simply the number of spaces between zero and that number. So you could take any, even a really large number such as negative 400, I don't know, I'm just gonna add some digits here, okay? How many spaces from zero is that? Well, it's simply four, three, six, seven, five. And it's always positive because it's jumps from zero. That's the end of our lesson on absolute value.